Hey everyone, and welcome to another Active Timing tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to create a new new event inside of Active Timing. Uh, now this is not going to show you how to create an event that can be synced with ActiveWorks Endurance. So if you're an ActiveWorks Endurance customer and you're looking to sync your information or your event information with Active Timing, we're going to do a different video on that. So keep your eyes open for that one. Uh, but this one is specifically for creating local events in your active timing, okay? And you can actually, before I go on, I just wanted to point out, um, you can tell which ones are local events by this little yellow icon in the top right-hand corner, okay? So the ones that don't have that, those are the ones that were created inside of uh, Active AWE, and uh, the ones that we've got here with the icons are the ones that are locally created, okay? Um, okay, so just go ahead, and if you've never used IPCO, or excuse me, not IPCO, but if you've never used Active Timing before, you may not know about these little hidden uh, hidden menus here. So if you just click on these uh, three little dots, it'll pop that up for you, and you can just go ahead and click on Create. We'll enter an event name, an address, uh, a start date. Definitely want to make sure you put that in there. Uh, city, zip code, country, so on and so forth, right? Uh, before we continue, I just want to point out that as of the filming of this video or the recording of this video, um, there are now there there are no options inside of Active Timing to actually go in and uh, modify any of this information. So once it has been entered, it is going to stay there. Okay. So if you mess any of this this information up and you need to go back, like you needed to add a a, a new race distance or something like that, you're going to actually have to create a separate event for that. Um, there will be an update later that will fix that, but uh, for the time being, just be aware that if you need to create uh, anything new, you're just going to have to create a new event altogether. All right. So we'll just go ahead and uh, add an event name here. Test two. Uh, actually, this is I believe test three. Uh, we'll call it 321 testing, and then city Dallas 75223 United States. Okay, and then actually, for whatever reason, it doesn't like you to just enter in the state you have to select it so uh, now the the important thing to keep in mind over here is the sport type currently you got five options uh, there may at some point be additional ones added but for the time being this is what we've got uh, we've got running which is what I'm gonna do first here uh, I'm gonna put 5k and then in order to add a different distance I'm gonna put a semicolon okay I don't need to put any spaces or anything like that just a semicolon and then I'll put 10k or whatever, you know, whatever's coming next. Uh, maybe I want to want a, excuse me, I, I want to add a three mile, okay? Uh, something like that, okay? Just use those uh, those semicolons, no spaces or anything, and that will add those additional race distances. Now let's say that I wanted to add an entirely different sport type uh, within my event. Well, I can come over here and I can click that little plus sign that you saw me click, and then I can select again from my drop down menu and I can add another set of race distances. Okay, so I'm going to delete that. But uh, once you've once you've got everything set up here, just come down here, click create, and after a moment, it should create that for me. Okay. All right, test three. Okay, so it popped up there. It may not always pop up on this screen, so you may have to kind of flip through your uh, your tabs up here at the top. And you can click refresh. And let's see, test three. Yeah. So uh, that again will will help you to to find it if it hasn't showed up there automatically. All right. And then uh, from there, we can just go in here and we can make all the modifications we're going to to the race uh, configuration and all that. I'm not going to show you that in this video. That'll be separate. But uh, now you know how to create a local event on your machine. So I uh, hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.